I'm Phoenix O'Connor. First tonight, an Urbana High School student has been arrested following email threats made to his school earlier, th earlier this week. This is now the second arrest in the string of threats against the school. Fox 9 Marlena Lang is working for you with details of the investigation and connection between the two cases. The first teen from Chicago was arrested just over a week ago for threats made against the school on November 7th. The second teen who attends Urbana High School was arrested yesterday for email threats made against the school November 28th through 30th. Uh, the Urbana Police Department School Resource Officer, a detective, and uh, an FBI agent, as well as school staff, made contact with the individual uh, that we believed was responsible for this and ultimately ended up making an arrest. The teen now faces charges of terroristic threats and aggravated battery of a police officer. Well, during the arrest, she battered an officer, which means she hit an officer. Um, so she kicked him and scratched him, so she's facing aggravated battery to a police officer as well as terroristic threats based on the content of the threats. Urbana police say as of now there is no connection between the two 16-year-old females who have both been arrested for making terroristic threats to Urbana High School. However, the fact that both suspects are juvenile females cannot be ignored. Pastor Willie Comer of Youth for Christ says that we have seen an uptick in young female violence, and he believes it is due to the lack of community programs focused on at-risk girls. Now you've got girls who are now trying to, um, I believe, you know, prove that they belong, prove that they have a place, um, that they have a voice, and unfortunately because we have not done a great job as a society um, creating programming and creating support, uh, this is what we're going, this is what we see. Pastor Comer says in order to stop this uptick in young violence, parents and adults need to be aware of what their child is doing on and offline, as well as create a safe community for them to be in. Let's make sure that we create programming, we create um, networks and spaces uh, where kids can come um, and it's safe, and it's a safe space for them to talk, it's a safe space for them to play, it's a safe space for them to be. Urbana Police Department emphasizes that making threats to schools is a serious offense, and they will investigate all threats made to schools. Terroristic threats is a Class X felony, and if found guilty, juveniles can be incarcerated until they are 21 years old. Reporting in studio, I'm Marlena Lang.